We've been learning how to tell time in class. Let's review how to use the hour and the minute hands on an analog clock to tell time. I'd like to start with this clock first. I want to point out that we've talked about the hour hand being the short hand. I've reminded you that the word hour is a short word, so the short hand is the hour hand. I also referred to the short hand as the baby hand. And I talk about it that way because we have to take care of the baby hand first. Anybody who has ever had a cranky crying baby in their house knows before you can do anything else, you have to soothe and take care of the baby. So sometimes I call this the baby hand so that you remember to take care of it first. Oftentimes, that hour hand, short hand, baby hand will be pointed right at the hour. Right now, if I go straight down from it, I can see that it is pointed to five o'clock. So I know my hour is going to be five. Then I go to my long hand. The long hand is the minute hand. And of course, minute is a longer word. So that helps us remember it's the minute hand. When I talk about minutes, of course, that's when I have to work my way around the clock counting by fives. I always start right up here at the 12, and at the 12, that's my zero. We call it the o'clock. So I count and I stop when I get to the minute hand. Zero, five, 10. So for my minutes, I would put 10. That means this clock says 510. Let's look at this other clock quickly. It looks a little bit different. Again, I'm going to start with my hour hand, my baby hand. But do you notice here it's pointed in between two numbers? I want to remind you, we talked about that in class. If it's pointed between two hours, in this case, 10 and 11, I have to realize that it's going to be 10 o'clock because it hasn't quite reached that 11 o'clock hour. So when it's between two numbers, we always go back. So I'm going to say the hour on this clock is 10. I'm ready to look at the minute hand, the longer hand. Again, we're gonna start up here at the 12 and count around the clock, going by fives until we get to the minute hand. Count with me, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this clock is going to say 1045. I have several slides for you to do. On this slide, you're going to read the clocks and then you're going to move a circle to tell which time the clocks say. On this slide, you're going to again continue telling the time, but in this case, you're going to double click on each box. This will be the hour box and this will be the minute box. So you're going to do that on a couple pages. And then I have this page for you where you're going to tell the time down on the clocks. Up here, I have times listed. You are going to simply click and drag the times to the appropriate box. Okay, take your time. Please remember before you turn anything in to go back and review every single slide to make sure you've answered all of your questions. All right, show me what you know.